Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the Nginx error message that looks like this. Nginx.service failed because the control process exited with error code. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop on into the video here. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna demonstrate um, a common, not the only, but a common way that this happens, and that is through a syntax error with Nginx. So um, I do have this website here in the background at this IP address ending in 167, and I logged in via SSH to that IP address. And obviously the server, the website is running on an Nginx web server. So if you go into the etc Nginx sites available directory, we'll see that configuration file that's associated with this website here. And if we look at uh, the default configuration file, um, I'm gonna just, you know, um, make, like the use case here is that you're in your configuration file, you're making a change and you might've accidentally spelled something wrong or you might've missed a semicolon somewhere, something like that. So let's get rid of the T in the location directory directive and save that configuration file. And when we go and do something like a system CTL reload Nginx, and this could be with a restart too. I have a, a whole video about the difference between reload and restart, but we're, we're basically just trying to reread that configuration file at this point. We hit enter and then we see that, oh, so infamous Nginx error message, job for Nginx.service failed because of the control panel, I'll exit it with error code, seems so cryptic. C system CTL status Nginx.service and journal CTL dash XE for details. So, that's one of the first things that you want to look at. So you can simply copy this um, this command here, and, and I'm assuming that we don't know what the obvious syntax error is at this point. So copy and paste this um, and execute that command. And let's just make this a little bit bigger so we can see what it's saying because it's not wrapping the text. And you know, you'll read through this here, a high performance web server and reverse proxy server, blah, 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 it's active and running. And then we see this red text, it's a failure. Moving down here, you don't see anything um, that's jumping out at me. But what I, what I start to see down here is um, on this line here, unknown directive location without the T in this specific file, sites available default, on line seven. So that tells me exactly where I need to go to investigate what that is. And by looking at this, we can see, oh, it should be location with the T. Okay, so that's that's one of the suggestions. The other suggestion was, um, and I'll just, I'll reload it again so we can see that again, executing journal CTL dash XE. So we can do something similar with that. And let's look through here. So that starts, uh, do, 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 where do we execute that from here? So it's telling, it's kind of logging what happened here. We're going down here up and there we go. Nginx unknown directive lo location without the T in that same exact file and then reload failed for the, the web server. So either case you can, um, you can figure out what's going on. So that will allow you to go back into your Nginx um, configuration file at sites available default, make that change and save it. So um, now we can do the system CTL restart or reload, reload Nginx just for consistency. And because there's no syntax error, um, everything works well. So our website's still working. Um, what I recommend doing if, is if you are working with um, configuration files to execute in nginx-t, which is gonna test out your configuration files. So here, when we do that, we know our syntax is good because um, it's saying that everything is okay and the test is su successful. Um, but you know, if we make that same, or you know, any syntax error, let's say we forget the semicolon on the end of this line. If we test out our configuration file, it's gonna say directive index is not terminated by a semicolon. So it does a really good job of um, telling you what's going on 
as opposed to if you do restart the server with something like reload, then you have to go read through the logs with system CTL and the journal CTL. So um, hopefully that gives you a better idea about how to address these common error messages with Nginx. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Um, please give this video a like if you got any value out of it. It really helps me out. And for more videos like this from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. Got a whole bunch of other videos on Nginx that you can check out over here and uh, subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.